The Graded Motor Imagery course is based on the latest science and clinical trials to treat pain and movement problems related to an altered nervous system. Specifically designed for health professionals and clinicians, this two-day course combines a series of lectures, practical sessions and clinical applications to provide you with the skills and knowledge to immediately start using GMI to treat your patients with complex pain states. Graded motor imagery has been shown to offer substantial improvements in pain and disability in some of the most difficult pain states to treat. The evidence is also emerging that graded motor imagery is effective in the treatment of carpal tunnel syndrome, osteoarthritis, and other neuropathic pain conditions. If you're doing it, you're telling them it's in their head, and that needs a lot of story and education with it. Graded motor imagery is a three-stage treatment program consisting of left-right discrimination, explicit motor imagery, and mirror therapy. These stages will be taught with practical lab sessions on each component that will allow you to exercise, use, and master each stage. This unique three-stage treatment process is adaptable to pain conditions and can be individualized through measured, graded, and monitored steps. You'll also receive a range of neuroscience nuggets and therapeutic narratives to explain these and other pain phenomena to your patients as part of a comprehensive pain treatment approach. We're well aware that just thinking of moving can activate vast swathes of neurons in the brain and kick off a pain response. And of course, not only that, if someone says, it hurts when I think of moving, then really if I thought about it, my therapy should be, well, let's go to some thinking therapy related to your pain. You will discover why neuroimmune balance will influence an individual's pain experience, the brain representation of the body can become smudged with chronic pain, and how the three stages of the GMI program harness the power of neuroimmune plasticity to treat pain. Why wouldn't pain change? It's a biological construction. Everything in biology changes and adapts. People have been doing imagery for ages. But what is perhaps a bit new and novel is really linking it together. We sometimes lose this ability to pick left and right. It's the brain trying to protect you, to stop you moving, to look after you. It's probably done a little bit too much. Find out more at gradedmotorimagery.com.